Hello friends and welcome back to Mashup Flix Travel and Auto Channel. Currently you are watching Jimny Cookbook Series where we talk about everything about Jimny. So today we are going to have a very interesting topic and there is a reason for that. There are a lot of negative sentiments about Jimny and Suzuki for there are multiple reasons. There are sufficient reasons in market. People are really dissatisfied and you know there is a more dissatisfaction towards the Suzuki than the Jimny. I can understand Jimny also has some issues right. That doesn't mean the other vehicles in the market don't have any issues. At the same time when Jimny have multiple issues Jimny also have some strengths. So lots of people in market actually appreciate about those strength as well. Why this actually vehicle designed this way? The way it is. And there's a reasoning behind that. There is no doubt actually Suzuki have done beautiful job in some departments. And what are those departments actually we also need to talk about. So let's start the video. The first and the major point about this vehicle is this vehicle is having awesome ladder on frame chassis. Why it is important? For any vehicle to become a true off-roader, the first choice is a ladder on frame chassis. And why it is so? Because the ladder on frame chassis actually have the highly mounted body and can accommodate bigger tires below. And that is the beauty of the ladder on frame chassis. For example, right now in this particular vehicle, we are having 195 80 R15 tires. Suppose if someone want to accommodate 29 inch tires also, they can accommodate probably for that reason, need to use a lift kit. In a normal car, sedan on hatchback, you can upsize the tire to some limit. But here, you can actually extend those limits because being this is a ladder on frame chassis and give you lots of lots of space for the creativity and enhancement. That's the beauty of this particular ladder on frame chassis. And the ground clearance is actually subject to the the larger tire larger the tire the more the ground clearance is so is this just a ground clearance which make a vehicle true off-roader i don't think so so let's understand what are the other parameters are so let's move to the next point well suzuki has done a beautiful job in this particular department choosing the letter on frame chassis the other benefit of the letter on frame chassis is this vehicle is having a highly mounted engine what is the benefit of the highly mounted engine is so suzuki actually put the engine in the engine bay in such a way that spark plugs and the air filter are on the top of the engine actually the radiator of the vehicle is also high mounted there are lesser chances the water go inside those components because higher the spark plugs higher the coils higher the air filter there are lesser chances your vehicle is going to stop in those conditions. That's a beautiful thing actually Marty have done. So here I'm not basically debating on the engine strength. So that's an altogether different discussion. The way basically they put the engine actually in the engine bay, that's an awesome. And you know, as long as there is a fire in the engine, your vehicle is not going to stop. One thing just keep in mind, whenever you go inside the water and your vehicle is totally in water, your silencer actually inside the water, for example, never ever release the speed paddle. If the silencer actually suck the water, that is not a good news for your vehicle. Be very careful. So now let's understand the next strength of the vehicle. Well, this strength and this capability actually really make this vehicle a true offer vehicle. And what is that? And that is actually BLST. That is a brake limited slip differential. So let me brief about a little bit of the differential first. The normal set of differential actually having its own differential locks. In Jimny, there is no differential locks. So what is the meaning of that? I'm just going to tell you. So the main job of differential is whenever there is a torque come from the engine, the differential actually, it multiplies that torque because there are different gears set in there. Whether you are basically in four or high and four low depends on that it gives a more torque actually and the other is it distribute the torque in the two different wheels if there is a rear differential that will actually distribute the torque in the two different wheels and if it is a front differential that is going to you know distribute the torque in two different wheels here and how that torque distribution happens that's a different story so let's try to understand this blsc function through a suzuki blsc diagram when you see the diagram on the left side that is with no blsc you can assume there is a sort of 4 by 4 without blsc in this particular diagram you can see the two tires on the white patches and the two tire basically on the gray patches and the two tires which are on the white patches the meaning is these two tires are basically not on the surface these are in the air if the two tires basically spinning freely that means the differential is transferring the power to these two tires only differential is not able to move the other two tires which have no traction the meaning of the no traction is suppose this particular tire is touching to the surface and this should have a traction but it is not getting proper torque to leave this particular place and who is consuming that particular torque the other two free tires 
which are moving in the air. So what actually BLST does is in the right side of the diagram, if you can see when in the 4x4 low, the BLST is on. What happens is there's a one concept of the traction control system. It actually comes into the play and what that does, the spinning tire on the white actually, it applies the brakes on that. So that means those two tires stop spinning actually anymore. That time, the your vehicle actually realize now I have some extra power and where that extra power goes, that extra power means the extra torque. That extra torque is going to be delivered to the wheels which have no traction and when that particular wheel get the extra torque then most of the time you actually cross the obstacle but who actually transfer the torque that is the job of differential so what differential does is this transfer the torque 50 percent here 50 percent there but in such situation your differential pass that level of torque which basically sufficient to you know move this vehicle forward cross the obstacle that much of torque transfer to this wheel vehicle come out from the obstacle that is how this blsc system actually works the blsc is very simple and basic kind of 4x4 system it is not a very ultimate uh, 4x4 system but the kind of vehicle we have the light vehicle that is one of the perfect mesh with this particular vehicle and that does its job very beautifully so hope you understand that so let's move to the next point Suppose you take your vehicle, which is a low ground clearance vehicle. So basically, we need a high ground clearance vehicle. Then what is your main worry is your underbody parts may touch to some stones actually. So whenever you take this vehicle there, your maybe front bumper or the rear bumper can be damaged. So the first thing actually which touch to anything that is your bumper actually, right? So the good thing about this vehicle is this angle, this angle here, right? This is called the approach angle. That means your vehicle is approaching and this angle is a departure angle. The good thing about this Gemini is the approach angle is 36 degree and the departure angle is impressive 50 degree. The 36 degree approach angle is also very impressive. It is better than many other vehicles actually in the market. So that is awesome. And this vehicle also have very good ground clearance. Normally some people think actually this is the ground clearance. This is not the ground clearance. The ground clearance is any lowest part below which can touch to the surface and the height of that particular lowest part from the ground is actually the ground clearance. It can be your differential, it can be other component as well. So the ground clearance in this particular vehicle is pretty impressive. Only thing not very impressive but not bad as well which is basically the ramp breakover angle. So the ramp breakover angle of this vehicle is 24 degree which is not excellent but still it is very good though it is basically reduced the 28 degree in three door Gymni to 24 degree in this five door Gymni and why it is reduced because the wheel base of the vehicle actually increased because of the wheel base increase so the ram breakover angle actually reduced which is a little bit sacrificed with the off-road capability of the vehicle three door Gymni is more capable for off-roading in that way So the another strength of the vehicle is actually the three link rigid axle suspension and that is awesome. Normally this particular type of suspension are not that comfortable than the other suspension type, independent front suspension or independent of rear suspension, right? I think Scorpio has that kind of suspension actually. But in this vehicle actually, this is having three link rigid axle suspension. And what that mean? That rigid suspension is basically in the front and the rear both. The meaning of that is, there is a rigid suspension, there is a one axle, the single axle which is basically going from this side till that side. So that actually axle responsible to move the tire and to maneuver the tire up and down and articulate those tires actually. What happens due to this rigid axle? Suppose for a moment, these two tires are the Gymnast tire with rigid axle actually. And right now it is on even surface on the same level right now. What happens is if we basically go to the uneven surface, if suppose the right tire actually goes up, automatically the left side tire actually goes down due to this rigid axle actually in this way. That means if this particular tire actually losing the articulation and losing the surface, that tire actually gripping the surface there. So traction will be lesser and this is in air. This will get actually traction due to BLSD in four low. So that is the reason this rigid axle play a very crucial role in sync with BLSD. On most of the bad roads actually, it gives you very comfortable drive and this is awesome. So let's move to the next strength. Many people says this vehicle is very small. This look actually very small, very tiny and not wide, not that tall actually. And maybe this is true. And you know what? 
this is the strength of this vehicle as well let me tell you how this is lightweight first of all only just 1200 kg as we discussed in the previous videos as well and the other good thing about this vehicle is having the small footprint that means and this is not that wide actually and because this is not actually wide what that mean is it is skinny and and it can go in any narrow terrain actually and this is the capability of this vehicle trust me tell me why gypsy was so popular and still it is a very popular vehicle and people love that vehicle actually though it is not very comfortable the suspensions are not very comfortable there is no power steering in it people actually put the power steering in there is no ac in it but still that vehicle is very good because that vehicle is very skinny and very light and go anywhere the light vehicle can go anywhere the gypsy is also having part time 4x4 system and due to that reason it can go anywhere and being it's a light it basically won't need more power and more torque actually the same way this vehicle is this is basically an improved version of jimny so similarly all the quality of gypsy you can see in jimny as well jimny is more disliked because of its price i understand that and jimny is more improved version of gypsy only gypsy is a second generation jimny actually and this is a fourth generation jimny right and this is a modern gypsy you can say one more thing i just want to tell you i don't want to compete this vehicle but any other 4x4 vehicle in their stock form in narrow terrains this vehicle is going to win i'm telling you the reason is this is basically having a small footprint take very less load to cross the obstacle being it's a lightweight recovery of this vehicle is so easier the meaning of the best off road vehicle is not that it is not going to stuck anywhere the best vehicle of the world can stuck in some terrains right recovery is required so whenever you need to recover this chimney it is a more easier vehicle to recover that is also a capability of this vehicle and that is what basically it is well my friend there is another capability of this vehicle and that capability is hdc what is hdc can you guess that yes you are right hill descent control nowadays you are seeing many different security controls to drive the vehicle in hills actually for example hill hold control hill hold control is now very common in many vehicles actually in the market this vehicle is having the hill descent control the very few vehicles in the market and the 4x4 vehicle is having this particular feature and what that feature is when suppose you are basically down the hill very steep and your vehicle is going freely there actually and you know what there are two types of braking in any vehicle one braking is the brake you apply the other braking is the engine braking and it is advisable whenever you go down the hill actually you should be more dependent on the engine braking than the real braking by foot that is basically a recommendation but what if that engine braking also not sufficient in that case you have to apply the brakes but in some situations even applying the brake is not recommended in very slippery surface down the hill maybe some snow conditions and those kind of situations it's very difficult to manage a vehicle by applying the brakes maybe your vehicle can skid over so to avoid that situation where basically your engine braking fails manual braking fails then hdc comes into picture so how it works so whenever you are basically in the steep gradient and you are going down actually and that surface is not very good to manage your vehicle and you are facing some challenges so what you need to do is you need to put four low gear first of all because this particular feature is going to work in a four low only in that particular situation and then there is a button in the console you just enable hill descent feature when you enable that what exactly your vehicle is going to do is first of all maximum speed not going to go beyond 5 km per hour so vehicle actually start crawling on that particular surface vehicle automatically apply some engine braking this time the engine braking applied by hdc it is not that normal engine braking right what it does is actually it actually uses traction control as well on uneven surface when your tires are going in this way so what it does is there are four tires it basically may apply different different level of brakes actually in the different different tires at the different different time and whenever it feels the your vehicle is going to skid this side or that side or the other side accordingly it actually detect that that vehicle is losing traction and based on the traction control system it actually apply brake to the wheels actually and maneuver your vehicle accordingly in that case you will get bit safer drive actually in the down the hill that is a feature basically which is very very important however in some situations the traction control is not very friendly and that's again a different debate altogether we will discuss about this traction control challenges uh, later actually in some video but for now this is how your hdc actually works whenever you see those steep gradients down the hill you want to go use that particular feature probably that will help you hope you understand this particular feature and let's move to the next one
Well, this vehicle is an all-terrain vehicle, right? We already know about that. You probably say, I repeat that particular word, all-terrain, many times. But there are a couple of more things actually which makes this vehicle as an all-terrain vehicle. Probably some of you are not agree with me. This is a very decent vehicle on highway. I found that actually. If you are not agree with that, that is your right. Let me tell you the reason behind that. Why I am saying this? I am not saying this vehicle is very good on highway because it has a very decent power and a decent torque. No, this is not a reason. The reason is, even though this is a ladder on frame chassis actually, there are two features which makes this vehicle very stable on highway. And those two features are, one is, as we already discussed previously in this video, that is three link rigid axle suspension that actually make the vehicle more stable on the highways, right? And on the top of that, there's a next feature is ESP, that is Electronic Stability Program, which make this vehicle more stable. What it does is, whenever there is a different RPM on different wheels actually, when the number of revolution in the left tire and the number of revolution in the right tire are not same, that actually controlled by ESP, make those revolution compatible. So your vehicle will not feel any rollover actually. You will not feel rollover in the vehicle actually when you are sitting in there. So that is the beauty of ESP program. And also the suspension of the vehicle in tuned in such a way, you will get very stable and very comfortable drive in the highway. And for that reason is basically Suzuki has given you HL tire in this vehicle, which is highway luxury tire, which give you a little bit more comfort actually. When I say this an all-terrain vehicle, that also cover your off-road. So in off-road conditions, it basically gives you better control because of it's a beautifully designed traction control system. The traction control system actually works beautifully in two-wheel drive and also in 4x4 four four drive as well when you actually engage your 4x4 four four system which make this vehicle actually more capable in all terrains. So hope you understand that. So my friends, let's conclude the video. There are so many things which are going on with the chimney. Bad marketing, bad pricing and people find Suzuki is not that faithful actually. So I understand that. But this is not all about Jimny. Jimny is a vehicle, right? Every vehicle in the market having some drawbacks, some strains, some merits, some demerits. Likewise, Jimny also have some merits and demerits. In nutshell, we should praise all the strengths actually and we should criticize all the negatives to make them positive as a feedback. Manufacturer actually listen to those feedbacks, those criticism and, and fix the issues for customer actually and probably improve those actually in future as well. So that is basically the overall objective of this Jimny Cookbook series is. So hopefully you understand that. So my friends, if you enjoy this particular video, like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe my channel, support me. Currently, you are watching Jimny Cookbook series which actually talks about everything about Jimny. This is the time to go off and we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.